Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video we take a look at the track Throne of the Sunset by the German post-hardcore band and is OK. This song is taken from their upcoming EP Abyss Part 1 which is set for release on September 22nd and may form part of a string of releases given it has a Part 1. I'd imagine maybe they're going to try different musical styles or play with something different with these potential releases or just use them as an opportunity to build a string of EPs. And it will follow on from their 2021 album Aurora which gave us our first taste of Rudy Schwarzer really be coming on as the unclean vocalist and really getting a sense of exactly what he was capable of within the band and how he would live up to the band's previous releases and whether he could really match some of the vocal styles that we have seen from the band in the past. And they have shown some strong releases so far this year with Calamity, Human and Time and they've adapted quite well as well to being without long-term bassist Norbert Rose who's been with the band since 2007. He's had to step away for personal reasons with Peter Lucat really filling in on the bass and certainly doing very well and the band adapting to that personnel change quite well. So will this latest track see them take to the throne or simply be the fall of their kingdom? Let's take a look at exactly how it sounds. Already, I'm really enjoying some of the elements we're getting in this track. One of the things that really stood out to me in that pre-chorus was certainly Miko on the drums. Just tapping on the edge of the drums really fits in with this motion of time keeps ticking on. He's really playing almost like a clock through the drum kit and then speeding it up as well to give off this marching notion as well. You're marching towards the end of life. You're just marching on through life. So I really like that effect that he's pulled in from the drums that really ties in beautifully with the lyrics on the theme of the track. And we can certainly see this revolving around the idea of approaching the end of life or kind of that point between death and the afterlife. We can see it in the visuals as well with Rudy kind of being hit by that car and then wandering almost away once his body is kind of deceased. So it's interesting how they're touching on that, but kind of pointing an emphasis on how you can live. I can be the master, I can be the slave, I could move mountains or dig someone else's grave. So it's almost like these two ends of the spectrum that you can really play on. Will I be forgotten like tracks in the snow? Did I make a difference? So you can really see it's playing on this idea of you can be somebody or you can be nobody you choose the life that you live because you can't outrun the sun and that's such a clever lyric because you can really just try and constantly outrun it but it's always going to catch up to you it's a race that can't be won so these rhyming lyrics help to give this song more melodic sound despite it being much more soaring and much more aggressive with those unclean vocals coming in and i like how it's done in the first person person perspective as well i can be the master so it's really putting the onus on the character and kind of almost you as a human as a listener the fact that it's got this eye brought in it really makes it feel very personal because everybody experiences that same thing in life we can nobody's immortal almost <laughs>
And I really like how we move through these verses, how we get this collaboration really coming in between Rudy and Kristoff, really blending together these really strong vocal styles and sounds, and really mixing up the eyes and the wheeze. Kind of in the chorus, we've got this much more global perspective that we're all in this together. We all have to fight this same cause almost. But then in the verses, we tend to get really just to kind of Rudy taking us through that personal perspective. But then they mix it up as we move through the song with different people taking on different roles. So I really do like that how it's touching on two kinds of perspectives. Again, playing with these opposites, almost two things constantly being brought through. Fill your cup till it's over. The idea of you kind of go through life collecting and filling the cup and eventually it runs out, it spills and life comes to an end. So really clever metaphoric lyrics that are really showing this like kind of build almost towards the end of life. How can I find meaning when I live to get let go? And it's almost like the cleaner vocals are really having this more philosophical look, really asking the question of what happens after I die. And you've really got the aggressive side from these uncleans coming in, really not being sure, or being scared of death almost. So they're really conveying two different emotions. So that's why I like about the switching vocal styles and blending them together. This constant fight with not knowing what comes as you do kind of sit atop the throne of the sunset when you kind of just ascend into the next life almost or to the afterlife or whatever anybody believes in. And a few things I also really like. I like how they've got the keys in the background kind of taking over from the drums but almost having this ticking motion but adding more layers to the track as well. It's got a really strong symphonic build that's really being brought through by some of these programmed elements that the band have included to kind of really just give it something a bit extra than being just a rock track and kind of give it more that slightly more theatrical feel almost as it really does feel like it's trying to build these energy levels and really kind of be much bigger than it wants to be and it's certainly doing that very well. Stuck in the race from the credit to the grave Don't you know that the race I really liked with this music video how it really touched on the idea that your throne is almost a gravestone or a tombstone. You can really see that with Rudy almost looking over what felt like a graveyard, a series of tombstones, which is almost an in memoriam after you die. It's something you remember, but that becomes your throne when you are dead almost. And it kind of highlights what maybe you achieved in life. And you can really see that being shown through the visuals. And I really like how they're kind of taking a very simple idea, something that everybody can understand, and really just adding a lot of depth to it, really through some very clever metaphoric lyrics and really answering those questions with these switching vocal styles that really show the two sides of either being the master or the slave. They are two ways of thinking and approaching death very aggressively or certainly almost very thoughtful. So I like the way they kind of conveyed that through the mixing vocal styles as well as some of the really interesting elements, the depth through adding the programming, the tapping on the drums to signify time ticking across and making use of the sunset, a great simple metaphor that highlights the end of something, the end of the day, kind of being in the, at that point. And we also had the visuals we had this very almost unreal animation style it was almost very uh, kind of similar to something like the scorpion king where you've got dwayne johnson it looks very unrealistic but it kind of like it because it kind of signifies this point between life and death where you're not really sure where you fit almost so i think it was very clever the way they did it with the visuals and i love the musical style in the way that they really showed exactly what they are capable of really mixing in these different vocal elements it's a really strong track from the band and they really are showing a lot Lot of depth and a lot of ability with a lot of this music. They're not just making simple post hardcore, they're throwing lots of strong metaphor in. And I really love it when a band does something like this and incorporates simple messages but makes them so beautiful and eloquent in the way that they carry the message across.
So that will be everything for today's video. But as always, feel free to let me know your thoughts about this track in the comments section below. How do you feel it lives up to the other songs that we have heard from the band in 2023? I certainly would love to know your thoughts. And as always, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please do feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next Dojo Analysis.